Hi guys, Mark Crossford here. Today's video, you're going to watch me follow Lucas Bergard round the old course at St Andrews, warming up for the Dunhill Lynx Trophy. It was really good fun following Lucas. Um, I've seen him hit on the range a bit from a distance to stand there and watch him play where you'll see. I mean, it's impressive. He's got a very stylized swing. It's very powerful. And he had a very relaxed demeanor about him very chilled out, look very comfortable. You'll hear him plot his way around the old course, think about how to play holes where the rough isn't up and those kind of ideas. Hopefully you'll get something from it that'll help your game. Um, just pay attention to the focus that him and Sean, like his caddy, have as they're playing in this practice round. Let me know what you think of these videos. If you want to see more, post in those comments down below as well at the end of the video. Also, let me know if you've ever followed a tour player round up in the comments up here. There's a poll. Have you ever followed a tour player round or not? Let me know. Let's watch Lucas bomb it round St Andrews. Yeah, I mean, you got bunkers on the right here, and then look how close the guys are here to the gorse. And you've got the other fairway over here. Not as good a line into the flag, but certainly safer. So the guys are just moving it back out onto the fairway. Did you see that? I saw what you've both done, yes, but I'll let you off this one. <laughs> Don't want to practice your flyer balls today. So the further you go up, I mean, it's just a funnel. You don't really want to be messing with this. We've got gorse, which you're not getting out of. Big hump on the left. And then obviously you might get too close to the green as well, which again features the huge slopes, making it hard to stop it. Two good approaches. Again, look at the distance control. That's the key. You've got slope at the back, massive hump. I mean, look at that hump there. Just shy. You've got to be landing it at a controlled distance. So if you think about it, what Lynx is so great at is that it might become so much more complicated when the wind blows. When it's still like this, these guys can land it those distances. Wind picks up. That's such a difficult challenge to meet on every shot. And they're really hitting wedges into those greens. When they're in longer clubs, that becomes very, very tough. So fantastic double green here. Look, so we get the little sliver in the middle bunker and then we're back onto the one we've just played here. They are amazing green complexes, proper stunning. Bunker at 205. Yeah. You didn't know it was there, right? <laughs> when did you discover it? When it was blown about 50 miles an hour into at the open. <laughs> yeah. Bunker at 205. And on then the left. it was in play. It was in play. Yeah. Is this Piers Morgan doing it? Yeah. I'll do this one right at the spine. Sorry? One right at the spine. Yeah. And the wind is a little bit up the left. Yeah, Right to That's the right, isn't it? Yeah. Seven meters. Total for seven meters. No, I think with this wind, you think, yeah, I was both flighting it in there, just over forty pitch. Mm, seven. Oh. Punching it into the wind. This ball went arrow straight, straight at the flag. Lovely watching him control flight. Look at the held off follow through as he punches that ball in low, going into the wind. He's trying to keep the flight of that ball down to make that distance. You see it's just caught the ridge at the front, straight at it, great shot, just again the wind plays its part. Relatively calm day, but that wind is up there, it's not that calm, it's blowing. So look at this, bit of practicing from off the green putting. Makes sense to me. 
makes sense as well because obviously links courses it is going to be different you don't have to chip everywhere and it is sometimes the best play the fairways are running pretty much like the greens so uh, again getting that feel for the ball going through that bit of fairway onto the green in the wind with a bit of rain just working on this and it just getting all this in place it's like they're two cameras together the two, two so shot link are our right edge is pretty much that guys those two guys that what yes the white flag yeah you need, you need to be left of the tent yeah so we're coming out with those two cameras yeah this is such a powerful swing we've actually got a video on lucas's swing coming shortly but if you watch the squat and jump that he gets out to generate the power while at the same time holding his balance it's impressive so there's your distance from here which is the layout basically of that bunker which is just your sand wedging out of this one and then you got out of bounds down the right uh, I'm not sure what the plan was here. I don't know if they, they're carrying these, trying to get it over. Because he's hit it where they said it was good. He looks to be a little bit in the rough. Nice. Good shot. Right, I'm the quick. What was the plan off the tee there? That. That, because it's not, because obviously, I guess if the open was on, that would be really chunky, would it? Yeah. And then we're going to be laying back yeah. short there. But because the rough's not too crazy, you're going to whack yeah. it and have a go. Lay it up short a bunch of, you're probably going in there today with five iron or something. Yeah, yeah, which you don't want to be doing. We're going in with nine iron from, yeah. the rough's not too bad. Yeah. Even absolutely. if you get a bad lie, you can get it on the green. Yeah. So it's only a nine iron from the rough. It's not the biggest target where that pin is, but I'm no problem getting that within a birdie opportunity. Like they're all saying this week, the rough is friendly because you've got the amateurs playing. So I think as long as the weather stays anywhere friendly, starting to rain, you're going to see low scores basically. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till you guys help. No, I don't yeah. like it when people are watching. <laughs> Too much pressure. profession for that. <laughs> no pressure, <laughs> Bounce. <laughs> Great drive up 18, it was fun watching him play up 18, such an iconic setting. Can't wait to watch Lucas more closely over the years and also try and get some time with him again. I'd love to show you his track man numbers, those kind of things, which maybe we'll do in the future. Chilled out guy, impressive swing, loads of power. Not afraid to hit knockdown shots as well, not just lassoing at everything. Sean was telling me his caddy that he's absolutely more than happy to hit one club more softer while at the same time trying to send it miles if he wants to as well. Young Danish strong player. Maybe a name to look out for, I think, going forwards. Easily have a major in him, if not a few. He's got all the game. Let me know if you like this video again. Post comments down below, as always. Thanks for watching. See you next time. We've got a walk with Burnt Vriesberger coming very soon as well.